RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Agritechnica 2023 in Hanover, Germany is brought to you by Optimum Glide, a new canola trait technology from Corteva AgriScience. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica 2023 in Hanover, Germany. Our coverage is brought to you by Optimum Gly and Corteva AgriScience. And right now we're in the Kloss booth and we are joined by Christoph. Christoph, great to uh, chat with you. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. We just talked about autonomy and what's very important for us. Autonomy is not just driving in the field, so it's uh, ensuring the entire process. And together with our startup Exceed and Amazone, we have created a consortium where we are waiting also for many other manufacturers, which I'm telling you later. But first, I would uh, show you the solution. Solution is that we are connecting an intelligent implement with the autonomous tractor, and both are communicating with each other. So there's technology added on the cultivator, which indicated maybe some plugging or if there's a RPM not as it should be. So and this is, sen is getting sent by the cultivator, sent to the autonomous tractor, and whenever the tractor needs to go slower or even put up the hitch higher, this connection will be within this, uh, between these two implements. Right. Ne? And what's very important, we as class forcing mixed fleets. That means our customers have maybe a class structure and implements from several other implement manufacturers. And in this AAA, uh, it's called Advanced Automation and Autonomy Consortium, we are looking forward with other partners to make this collaboration happen that in future our farmers can use high automated and autonomous machines with implements from different manufacturers as well also other tractors and even eggbots can be used uh, in this combination. Uh? Yeah. And that's very important. We as class focusing the entire process and not just only driving in field. Uh? Yeah. So, and, there we have also the, uh, the bridge to Autonomy Connect. So all this information from the cultivator in this example should come to the tractor and both will be sent over the cloud to Autonomy Connect, which is linked to Farm Connect and the entire documentation monitoring of the process is there. No? So this is a side remark for our autonomous project. Uh, well, like you mentioned, in an autonomy world, you need to have intelligence on the implement too. So in, in you know, pre-autonomy, all the intelligence was sitting in the tractor seat. And so yeah. it was the farmer's job to make sure that they were watching, they lifted the cultivator, they put the cultivator down, they sped up the tractor, slowed it down. They did all of that work. Yeah. It, it, without the intelligence on the implement, the tractor really has no idea what it should be doing besides driving in a straight line. And this is exactly the solution we are preparing so far. No? So this is also a demonstrator but exactly this is the solution uh, I was just explaining. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that the intelligent in first time is uh, securing the process. The automation is um, uh, one step more, but here I can show you in detail, there are a lot of technology on this machine, which is uh, yeah, creating data, ensuring the process uh, that uh, nothing happened. Okay, so we're we, we're obviously doing some tillage here behind us, um, but are we are we getting this kind of intelligence on the implements when it comes to something like a planter, or an air drill? Or have we have we made those steps yet, or just in the area of tillage? Yep, in our consortium we first focusing tillage, but here you, you should also go to Amazon. They will sh show you also more details about this, and for sure, other processes will follow. No? Yeah. Is there a limit on how many feet we can have on the implement, or is that kind of limitless? Does it have to be small, or can it be large? Yeah, it's depending on the entire system. Né? So we need to ensure by a safety system, obstacle detection, and the width yeah. of the obstacle detection is also the, the base for the working width. Né? So in, in this kind of uh, autonomy-connected world in, inside uh, the, the Kloss ecosystem, do you require to have broadband, uh, like internet, on, on the tractor, or is it all, are those all things that upload to the cloud uh, later on at the end of the day, or is this happening throughout the day? No, it's uh, connected by cloud. Okay. So the entire system needs to be uh, connected. Um, yeah, tractor. Also the tractor needs to connect it with the cloud, and our portal or our farm uh, fa class autonomy connect. Sorry. But the implement data are uh, coming together in the class Autonomy Connect. Okay, here is uh, one sensor which is uh, checking here the, the spring lengths. No? So in the case there is uh, 
uh, uh, damage in the uh, in the plow here it can be done but what's very even more ex ex interesting here the throughput is also getting measured so if there is a plugging coming here is the sensor which is then uh, giving a signal to a tractor and if the plugging started the tractor is maybe going slower or even is uh, lifting the hitch uh? and there are some more sensors like also rpm meter means there is a stop in the in the uh, in a waltz, uh, yeah. here in the, in, in the reel, so then uh, the uh, tractor automatically gets stopped. Okay, so as you've been showing this to farmers, what's the reaction? Is there a reaction of excitement, hesitation? What's the reaction from the farmer? The, some easy words, you are working on the right things which will in future help us, because it's here, especially in Eastern Germany we are, where we are doing this testing, there's a really urgent need due to labor shortage and also yeah there are less experienced uh, operators available so it's very important that we are focusing on it uh, because otherwise we will have a problem in agriculture not in ag tech we will have a problem in agriculture and that's important for us all no? Christoph. Christoph thanks so much for joining us really appreciate it thanks to you to be here uh...